Welcome back to another video of Bloodborne. Continuing on where we left off. Anyway, let's play. So. Let's check out this weapon. The anti beast weapon. Actually, pretty good. Continue up here. Still hearing babies cry, bro. I think uh, we should ignore this way at the moment. pretty tough yeah I don't think we should go that way at the moment for now we're going this way and as soon as we can we're gonna jump off and I fucked it up Baby. So I'm just gonna run up here. Hey, we don't have to pull a lever. You know what they say. Third time lucky. What am I getting stuck on, dude? It's like... It's like you shouldn't roll. I think. I tried rolling three times now. This time I'm gonna just run off. Maybe not even run, I'm just gonna fucking press forward. That sounds like me right now. You know, we, we actually died more by this elevator already than any boss killed us. Any singular boss killed us. And it's 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 not even like it's getting better, bro. I think what you need to do is like be on the verge. Like here. I don't fucking understand this shit. You can't just walk forward. You can't. Ah! That's why it keeps happening. There's a fucking sign at the top that I keep hitting, dude. I mean, <clears throat> first try, bro. Goodness, you should get on my level, my buddy. It's 
So I died already on this part more than any other part we made on the tunnel. So that's fun. Okay, so we're getting these idiots here. So we're gonna just take them out. So to take them out, we need to get our item in. What the fuck is this? Oh, vault paper. We only have one anyway, so... Uh, let's put up our consumable... Uh, sedatives. Thank you for my quick silver ammo. Each. So over here is going to be two of them. Uh pause this in the middle. So you want to just lure the one a little bit more out. All of them. There's gonna be one more later. Uh, no other loot here that I can see. Bring it to here. We have spiders. No, they're not weak. Weak to fire. Like that's something we saw. This weapon just two shots, so. Would be nice if I don't get hit every time. <laughs> I guess it's whatever. Okay, so that's that. We're gonna go down. Ignore that hole. We're gonna take care of the thing that keeps frenzy us when we're running in the open. Bye, have a great time. So now we can run in the open now without being frenzied. So the other side there is a frenzy guy. And now we're just gonna take care of this first. I get across here, but like, okay, let's just do it. Fuck it. Whoa, dude, the camera almost fucking killed us. Okay, takes care of that. Oof, that frenzy was not even close, baby. Holy. Quarry Bell. Got an achievement for that. It is PvE content, pretty much. We're gonna go back this way. I don't think there's any other loot here. I think I did check. Yeah. Yeah. 
reckon we're gonna go this way. There's just a lot of loot here. Pretty much as you run, just make sure you're checking every nook and turn because there's a lot. Stepping on the bones, dude. Hopefully these are pretty good gems, hopefully. And this opens up a shortcut to the previous boss we fought in the previous episode. Not a pretty good shortcut. But it's there. We looted that place already, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so from here, we're just gonna run down here. Make sure you picked up all the dudes. Just double check. And we're just gonna roll off. And over here, we're gonna get the only, literally the only one in the base game. Oh, wrong button. Which is the blood rock. So now we can take this weapon up to plus 10. And now we're back. Right where all these dudes were. And we're gonna just run to where mama is. Big ol' mama. Yo, fat mama. So these guys are all passive. Gonna avoid mama. We're gonna take this all of it. Come, baby. Give it to me. This was here. You can see the eye here. Uh, on your on your touchpad on your PS4 controller, press the left side. Then switch to a gesture that is called make contact. And just test it now. We're going to stay like this for... I don't even know how long, dude. About 30 to 45 seconds. And then he's going to give us the item. I'm too scared to press circle. I'm, I'm scared it's going to stop the gesture. the thing we wanted so i could have pressed circle but yeah you just stand like this for quite a while so now we have moon and now we have to destroy the eye and the thing doesn't attack back so don't worry about it HP. So yeah, it takes a minute.
And then from that, we're getting a loving string. And then we're just gonna... Hunter's Mark, get our way out of here. Okay. Now we can upgrade our weapon to plus 10. Okay, let's not spend our echoes just yet. Let us go and repair. And then fortify. Get this weapon to plus 10. It gets 104 damage. Physical. It's durability. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Got a trophy there for doing that. That's pretty good. So now we're going to go into gems. And we're going to go for the last one first. And we should have a brand new plus 18% physical up damage as well. So that's another 80 damage increase and in, almost in total yeah so now the first one is also 18 so we've got a 13 plus here but apparently we should also have now a high one that lowers durability or something like that charge attacks what is 1.8 do Physical attack up plus 12. So the one we have is still the highest we have. So I think the runes you get is on chance, by the way. Because uh, the guide I'm watching got a 16% plus up, but he has like, I don't know, minus 20% durability on the weapon. I don't have anything like that. But my rune is 13.5. It's pretty much up there. So, I'm actually fine with it. I don't think he has this rune, otherwise he would have used it. Welcome home, good hunter. What is it you desire? He's not in your chin. <laughs> Very well, let me... <laughs> Very well. You know, there you go, get on your knees, girl. Um, okay, so we still need over 20k, so... We're going to get skill to 30 and then there's probably strength to 30 after. And then we're just going to head back there to the middle. So now that we're back here and we don't have to do the elevator again, you know, I'm just going to make our way here. Item each. So there's an item here. Bloodstone chunk. But the guy that I'm watching says that this is the best farm in the game. I know of one better, but it's uh the problem is that it's it's tied to the dungeons. That's the problem here. If something is tied to the dungeon, uh, you'll have to do the dungeons first. I mean, you can you can avoid doing the dungeons, by the way, uh, if you have a PSN. So we're gonna we're gonna just run here. These guys are a bit too far away. Or we can get these guys to fight each other. Oh, 
speed to ever say you know? Or while they're busy, yeah. And that makes things a lot easier. But yeah, you get quite a lot of runes or, or echoes here. So it's not like it's a bad farm. It's just this one gives you about 25 to 30,000. Uh, the one I know gives you 85,000. Um, and you don't kill anything. It, like, I don't know if you guys watched me play uh, Elden Ring. There's a giant bull. You look, you, you run to a certain location. Uh, if the bull spawns, you just run like this and look off the cliff. And then as long as you look at the bull, you get your, you, you get your runes in Elden Ring. Now in this game, there's something similar, but you, you spawn in and you just look through the wall and boom, you get 80,000. So, I'm gonna do a little bit of research and figure out how to do it, so I can just show you guys at least once. But you can only do it once every five minutes. I don't know why. Maybe it's, you know, you have to wait that long to enter the dungeon. I'm not too sure. But you can only do it once every five minutes. So there should be a runner here. There he is. That's going to be the last loot that's here. So now we're just going to run up and forward. So mine, mine literally all you need is uh, the hunter's mark for it to work. Because you'll spawn in, look through the wall, 80,000 runes, one shot, boom. And you just hunter's mark out. So yeah, you can, <laughs> you can get uh, quite a lot of echoes, like an absurd amount. Now all the enemies here is taken care of, all the loot that I know of as well taken care of, so we're just gonna head forward. Wow, dude, I actually honestly didn't know this. Uh, we're gonna end the game now. This is the main game. We do have the DLC as well, so we'll play the DLC also. You can kill her or not, like, the, it really doesn't matter, like, what you do. If you kill her, you don't get anything, so I'm just gonna leave her alive. I'm not a big fan of killing NPCs if uh, if there's no reason to. So I'm unable to uh, get due to inventory storage uh, spaces max. So it's because I have this thing right here. Um, I don't know if I should just use it to pick it up. Maybe we should. Sniff that panty of ours. Oh, shit. Well, that's a waste. So right now we're just gonna head back. We have 81,000 runes. That's about... Or echoes. It's about two levels. So... We'll just uh, dunk that quickly. And then we're gonna do the boss. The final boss of the zone. Which I think is also the final boss of the base game. I could be wrong, though. Welcome. What is Very so, well, let me. We are going to... We need to off. Oopsie, that's not tune off. That was 20, okay. <laughs> that's 40k, so that's three levels then. Very well, let me. Let's see here. It goes up by three. It goes up by four. Yeah, it's roughly equal. But since plunge attacks is from skill, we'll, we'll take this until it starts to deviate, you know, and becomes less. 
Uh, so let's go back to the middle. Like, I honestly don't know if I should prioritize someone else's content first because there is someone that donated $10 for a game for me to cover. So I want to get to that as soon as we can. But yeah, I'll do the DLC for like first before I get to this game. I want to like high prioritize it. Because that's how this channel works. It's it's donation based. What do we play, right? You guys ultimately decide what we play, so I don't decide. We're gonna just send the elevator down for if we do die. I don't want to deal with that. Um, so in this fight, we're mostly just gonna use the empty phantoms as uh, a shell, pretty much. This should be a cutscene. the boss will do this. All we want to do is just spank the back. We don't want to give too much space between us. Let's get struck. Yeah, I'm mean, gonna just do one uh, to show you guys. So when darkness gets struck, all we gotta do is just untarget and run anti-clockwise anti around. For about 30 seconds. We got body blood there. The boss will blink like that and sometimes appear, well, appear somewhere else. I guess it's when you get too far away from the boss. So big, and it's like it's disappearing. Maybe it wasn't the final boss. Let's see. Okay, Murgo's wet nurse. We get the third umbilical cord. Now we have all three. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna head back. We have to make backups now. Um, literally just installed. Well, I tried a I tried a USB, uh, a 16 gig USB. It didn't work, so I had to format my <laughs> external now. Uh, but you can see this place is like burning down and like yeah it's completely changed now good hunter dog yeah. so we can level up a bit here um still pretty good so i'll take it farewell good hunt. so right here you have to close the game so press start like you you press your windows key you press start and click on delete. No, I'm just kidding. Not yet. Uh, close application. You need to close the application. Uh, then we have to go to settings. Uh, backup. Uh, storage. Uh, no, no. I saw it earlier, man. Software update, application, save management, themes. Um, yeah, I don't see it. Just give me a second. Okay, so you open up settings. Uh, then you click on application, save data, save data management. Now, I don't have a PS Plus. So I'm too fucking broke for that at the moment. Um, so save data on USB, uh, save data in system storage. We're going to do USB here. Uh, copy to system storage. Uh, wait, let me just read here. Connect USB to your console. Go to settings, application, uh, save data uh, storage. Save data storage. Application save data management. Saved data. Saved data in the system storage. So it's this one right here. Next, you. Okay, I guess copy to USB storage device. Can I perform that operation? Okay, I think I finally figured it out, by the way. Uh, so all you have to do is go to devices here and then click on the USB. If you click on this, it says there now use the storage. I just untick that and it seems to be uh, fine now. So all I have to do is go to... Um, I'm going to go back to application, save data, save on USB and copy. Yes, it's hot. I need to push. Um... So it it disconnects it, dude. Like I, I don't get it. I don't fucking have a USB that connects. Okay, looks like I got it now. Uh got a USB working. <laughs> uh so let's try it now again for the fifth time. Copy system storage. There is no save data. What? The fuck do you mean? Save data and system storage. Copy to USB. There we go. Ugh, oh, dude. Fucking life sometimes, dude. So we're just gonna copy it here. So now it's being saved uh, on the USB. So now that it's saved, uh, we're gonna open up the game again. Okay, so now that it's copied, we're gonna go this way. So right here. And then we're gonna talk to this guy sitting up here in his wheelchair. What's up, Beach? Good hunter. You've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. 
you will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. So we're going to go for the first ending here. Submit your life. Farewell, my keen hunter. Fear the blood. Farewell, good hunter. May you find your worth in the waking world. I'm honestly still trying to find my worth, so <laughs> thank you for that. So yeah, there is the first ending. So all we gotta do right now, close the application again. Go to settings. Go to... Uh, again, to... Uh, why do I always struggle to find this? It's a pretty long... Their application save data management. Save data on USB storage. Copy to system. Bloodborne. Select and copy. Uh, the following application save data. Do you want to override this data? Yes. So now we copy it from the hard drive to from the uh, USB to the uh, to the game to the PS4. <laughs> okay, and just like that, we're back. Um, I just want to double check and see what runes we have because we're gonna do a boss fight now. Add frenzy. Uh, so the frenzy one we're gonna change to ammo. So now we have ammo, we have echoes, and we have... I could also take the physical resistance, actually, instead of echoes. It's just for this fine. We're gonna load afterwards anyway. So even that 3% resistance will make a difference. So now we're going to run back to that guy again, and now we're just going to select the second option. And this will then, we will then fight him. And he is one of the harder bosses of the game. From this.
dear, oh dear. What was it? The hunt? The blood? Or the horrible dream? It doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. joins the hunt. Lucky. Press up here. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. This really sucks. Fire! 
He's exploding. I'm dead. Oh my goodness, we have him. Holy shit. First try, baby. Suck a suck a suck a fat one. We did it. There's the second ending. Nice, dude. I'm just too good at video games, bro. <laughs> oh. That couldn't have been closer. We used all our ammo. We used all our health or healing. And at the at the end there, I was just like, dude, just spam R1 and just close your eyes. And that's literally what I did. <laughs> okay, so application save data. Save data on USB. Copy to system. So there's three endings in total here. So that was the second ending. One more to go. Yeah, I just sorted out my runes again. And now we gotta fight that boss again. The thing is now we have to go and consume all our umbilical cords that we have. So we have three of them. You can see over here. So that's one. That's two. And uh, that's three. And there we go. So now I have to kill him again. And this time, the final thing that hugged me will not hug me anymore <laughs> so these are the three items we want this probably will just use this I think we can just attack him Was it the hunt, the blood, or the horrible dream? Oh, it doesn't matter. It always comes down to the hunter's helper to clean up after these sorts of messes. Tonight, Gammon joins the hunt.
Oof, that's a big deal we got there for free. explode. Such a big damage. I think I should be healed. Fuck it. No, I'm stuck. Fuck. Okay, get ready with your hunter's mark instantly because it's going to be a second boss fight in a row and we're going to do the whole dlc before you fight this thing There we go. <laughs> we got it off. Okay. 
now we're just gonna slap this and we're gonna go back to cathedral board i think i'm gonna just show you guys how to get to the dlc and then i will end the video there um so we're just gonna technically start the dlc apparently this dlc is extremely difficult so that's why we left it until now uh, just talk to her get your senatives and then she might give you blood but i think we have blood stone um we have blood veil here restoring larger amount of hp which i've never used most probably never will as well so we're just gonna run here behind these tombstones we're gonna get grabbed See, normally when you do DLC games, especially in this genre, you know, games made by soft, uh, from software, uh, they assume that you've farmed already. They assume that you've, you know, that you're farmed, you're leveled up, you're geared, and you're ready for another challenge. That's what it comes down to. So that's why we left the DLC until the very last bit, before literally the very final boss of the game. Because if you kill that final boss, it goes automatically into New Game Plus. So that's exactly what we wanted to avoid. So we're going to light this up, and then we're actually going to end the video here. I honestly hope you guys did enjoy this, man. It was a blast playing this um, so far. This game is really, really good. Uh, obviously, I get frustrated, just like anyone would playing this. I'm not a speedrunner of Bloodborne. This is my very very first time playing the game so i'm very happy with our progression so far like how well we're doing and i can't wait to play the dlc with you guys so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun I, that's all i have to say hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you did leave a like subscribe if you're new and i'll catch you in the next one peace